Hi, Danica Watson here, nurse practitioner. We are going to continue our discussion on skin. Let me start with a disclaimer. This is not medical advice, recommendations, or a diagnosis. This is simply information. If you do have any questions or concerns, you need to see your healthcare provider. This does not take the place of a well child check or a sick visit. So in our previous discussions on skin, we talked about how skin was a semipermeable membrane and we absorb everything that we directly put on our skin. We talked about eliminating chemicals in our daily lives. We've talked about diets and how they can um, directly affect our eczema. Um, and today we are going to talk about the viruses uh, that grow on our skin in the form of warts and molluscum. So a lot of kids um, have warts and some of those can be like the true common veruca that are on your nail beds and your fingers, on your knees, sometimes at the bottom of your feet. And this is a type of virus. Um, somehow your kid is coming to, the, coming to contact with the virus, playing in the dirt, playing with their friends, on the playground, somewhere, and their body has let the virus in. It is shed and let it replicate and then produce the wart. Now those types of warts can be frozen off. We, um, you can put compound W on there, you can put a band-aid on there and freeze them off. Um, a home remedy you can try is tea tree oil and oregano oil and then put like duct tape or a really, really uh, strong band-aid on it. Um, you need to be very careful if you're putting a tat bandage or a tat tape on your child's finger. Make sure they still have circulation, it's not tingly, so don't do it to your infant who, or your baby who can't really tell you how they feel, okay? Um, but those things, if you put a really tight piece of tape on it, not around it, on it, just to suffocate it with the tea tree oil and the oregano oil, that will help. Um, however, with warts or verruca, those usually after you treat them, they go away. Some, sometimes if you don't get the seed out, it's very hard um, and they will come back in that same spot. However, because it is a virus, you might get one in another spot. Typically not. Typically with with traditional warts, once you treat that one, they're done. Now, if you come into contact with a different one or if your body, um, your immune system goes down, you might get another one, okay? Um, so what we can do for our children who don't have them yet and for the ones who already have them is support their immune system. So giving them whole foods, giving them whole food vitamin C, making sure that we cut out as much processed food and as much sugar as possible, okay? Now, let's talk about the pesky little uh, molluscum that children have. And these I'm seeing more common every single day. And they are the flesh-like skin tag lesions. They are most commonly found around the neck, under the arms, back of the thighs, and on the abdomen. These are a strand of virus that is very, very hard to get rid of. There is not a medication or a cream that I can give you that's, that will take care of it completely. I might can give you something and it will take care of one lesion. Um, however, if your child gets a runny nose, a cough, or just a virus, an upper respiratory virus, hand, foot, and mouth, the lesions may come back and they may come back in more um, clusters or then they come back in a different place. So we could treat what's there. Sometimes you'll get a response, sometimes you won't. Um, and then of course they're gonna come back. This virus your child has to grow out of, unfortunately. And it's very, very frustrating for the parents because when these kids get a lot of them, they don't like it. Um, and you know, especially if it's where it could be seen outside of clothing. Uh, so what do we do? So if you have them, look over, a dermatologist recommended to me to try Zymoderm for my patients. Um, it's over the counter, you can Google it, you can find it and order it um, and use it as directed, right? So we can try that and we can probably take care of the ones that are present. But again, if your child gets any kind of virus, more will come back, okay? Um, so what do we do? We support our kids' immune systems, the same thing. We make sure that they're getting their good foods, make sure we're supporting their gut, even if that means like adding a probiotic into their, um, into their daily routine, their daily vitamin regimen, to really support good gut flora and good gut bacteria so we can fight off the bad things that we come into contact with, okay? We want to build our child and ourselves, our immune systems up so much that when we do come into contact with these viruses, the skin viruses even, that our bodies don't let them puncture our cells and start replicating and, and you know coming out in the form of these lesions. 
If you have any direct questions about the molluscum, they are a hard one to get or to deal with, and it, and it does last quite a while. Um, I will go. I, I will tell you that I'm seeing most children get them between the age of four and eight, and then they hang on to it until puberty, and then after puberty. They start shedding the virus and um, no new lesions appear. There's been a few that that doesn't work for. However, uh, the vast majority of what I'm seeing is post puberty and, and they resolve. Um, so, if you do have any questions, see your healthcare provider. You can try the Zymoderm for your regular skin warts on your skin, the Veruca. Um, typical wart like lesions. You can do the tea tree oil and oregano oil with a tight um, piece of tape or a top band aid. Um, don't do it all the way around. Don't squeeze off their circulation, right? Just put it on halfway so it just suffocates that work there. Hope this helps.